Hi everyone, welcome to our kitchen. It's a whole lot of mess right now. I've laid everything out and the sun is going in and out. So I'm gonna have like little splotchy bits here and there, but I really wanted to get this video out because I feel like I'm finally at a place where I am so happy and proud with everything that Shadow is consuming on the daily. So just before I start, I want to say, if you're going to go out there and comment, you know, you shouldn't be feeding this, this is how you should be doing it, I think you should be doing that, or this is wrong, you're feeding this wrong, this food isn't good, like just save yourself, like don't even bother, don't even like put your hands to the keyboard because I don't want to hear it. Everyone's version of how they feed their pet is completely up to them and it's a very personal thing, you know. So for me, this is how I've chosen to do it and he is in the best condition that I've ever seen him in. I feel like this routine that I've got going on with this food is honestly something that I'm going to stick to for such a long time. He absolutely loves everything that he eats and everything's very clean, most importantly. Where are my little babies? Yes. So it is breakfast time right now and as you can see I'm defreezing, I'm defrosting their food. So this is what they get for breakfast which is completely raw completely raw, frozen, really good stuff that is just defrosting on the bench as I'm speaking and the dogs are like, what the hell's going on? Why am I not getting anything? Put this down, you probably see Kano. So I feel like I'm finally at this point in my life that I have just kind of settled on what I want to feed him and I'm so happy with it um, that I don't want to change it. I think it's the perfect diet that he is on and I really just, I see myself doing this for a really long time. So what has changed so much since my last What I Feed My Dog video is really his breakfast and I have finally found a technique and a strategy for me to feed him completely raw in the mornings and grain free stuff at night. So the raw stuff that I'm feeding him is just a whole heap of different raw frozen stuff that I just wake up in the morning, put it in their bowls and you know let it defrost for a bit and then they're able to eat it. So in this bag we have lamb tripe which is just pure lamb tripe. There are no additives or random stuff put into that. In this bag we've got veal and heart. Um, these are all 1kg bags and they last me quite a while because I only feed them like one chunk or two in the mornings. Um, and this is chicken and heart. So I've got a whole different bunch of just raw frozen stuff that I give him. Um, at the moment this massive chunk in their bowl is actually like beef. It's all um, beef related, like everything mixed up. So that's really good for them as well. I have found that with my lifestyle, I was struggling for such a long time to be able to do something like this for him. And because I can wake up in the morning, put it in their bowl and just, you know, get ready. Um, and by the time I'm ready and like ready to head out, I just feed it to them. So it's extremely easy and simple. And I feel like there really is no excuse. I feel like anyone can do it. And it's just really healthy. And I know everything that is in their food. Um, what I also really like about these packages and this company that I'm buying it from is that they deliver for free to my door, which is like, you know, it's even better for me. I don't actually have to go out there, go to the supermarket and buy any of the stuff and bring it home. Now, I am going to kind of mention their dinner, um, what I feed Shadow for dinner and the other stuff that he does get, which isn't raw. So we have here this massive, I think 12kg or 14kg bag um, of ivory coat grain free kibble so i really really like this brand and shadow also really likes their food um it's one of the only ones that he just i don't know i find he really likes he's not really picky with food at all but he is a dog that eats to live and not lives to eat if that makes sense um, so this one here is just the lamb and kangaroo. I sometimes switch it out. I like to stick with the lamb and kangaroo and the salmon like fish flavor. If there is one thing that you should really take away from this video is that fish and salmon and you know marine is really good for dogs and especially for Shadow who has hip dysplasia. Um, salmon and you know all of that good stuff is actually really really beneficial for his hip dysplasia and which you'll see I've got some supplements on the side but I don't think I'll talk about them because I've spoke about them so many times um, but Shadow is on some supplements which he only takes at night and I do just rotate them and they're just really targeted for his hips and his arthritis that he's got. He's got very mild arthritis and hip dysplasia but I still try my best to prevent things 
before they do get worse. The other two items that you can see on the side here are things that I also put into this food at night. So we've got the Omega Plus um, kibble thing. It's really just New Zealand King Salmon, which again, salmon, like I said, I absolutely love. So I like to give them a little bit of this, mix with a little bit of that sometimes. And then days that I'm not giving him this one, I will give him the Zewi Peak stuff. So essentially it is really good. It is just air dried beef um, or just air dried whatever flavor that you do. This one is the beef recipe, which um, it's a brand new bag. I haven't actually opened it because at the moment I'm just really giving him this for a little while. So he absolutely loves a seaweed pig. I mean, I feel like every dog loves a seaweed pig. I don't know a single dog that doesn't. It's just, it's just like, it's basically raw, but it's dried raw. Does that make sense? It's just pure like, beef and all this other stuff in it there are no grains in it it is completely just really clean eating and it is pricey it is expensive i'm gonna say but i absolutely love it um and i know exactly what's in it i'm really comfortable with what the ingredients are and shadow loves it all the other dogs love it as well and now just very quickly i'm going to mention some of the treats that they get because i feel like we have gotten to a stage where the treats that we are feeding them are really nice and um grain free they are clean they are just dried up meat so this one here we put this in a container well that is really really strong um that is just dried up almost like a fatty but it's mixed with like meat um of beef so we get kgs and kgs of this and just leave it in containers and sometimes give it to them during the day just like as a little treat um this one here is in a bigger container <laughs> and i don't know if you can see that i'm not going to take it out because it's very oily and that is just some sort of um, like mixed kind of jerky type food um in there um it is a little bit oily but it's because it's all natural and really nice and clean so we do like to give them a bit of that to crunch on and they spend quite a long time crunching on that and munching on that one um and something else and something else that i have which I buy from just like our local pet store here um, are just these like they're just like these dried up beef bits like more of these but from a different company so essentially these are really just the same as these but these are more drier for some reason so honestly the treats that they get are just really clean um, absolutely like no grains apart from their dental sticks which I don't really have one with me right now but the only thing that Shadow has it is really grain related is probably sometimes the dental sticks that Kano gets um, that Shadow just sometimes gets at the same time. So the reason that I do this grain free thing for Shadow is because I feel like he doesn't need any other extra additives or um, rice or I don't know quinoa um, bread or any of that just because he's on a really strict weight diet you know. Um, his weight is completely affected by his hips, his hip dysplasia, his arthritis and I only want to feed things that I know are nutrient rich, um, that are quality and I just feel like grains are not nutrient rich, he doesn't need it, he can survive very well and healthily, is that even a word? He can survive very well on just pure meat, um, whether it's raw, whether it's dried, whether it's in a form like in a kibble kind of thing. But yeah, that's why I've chosen grain free. It's not because he's sensitive to grains or that he's allergic to So them. for some reason, I've lost a bunch of clips from the end of this video. Um, but I'm just going to close this off now and just say thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.